Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again on this platform. Nigerians, have you heard about white elephant lie? That's daylight lie by this current government of propaganda that have adopted lies as their means of communication to Nigerians. Now, listen to the Minister of Health, what he said about the condition of health system in Nigeria, and that will shock you. I'll be right back. Go to Lagos, go to the hospitals in Lagos. People are coming from India, from Sub-Saharan Africa, even from Europe, to come and get healthcare in Nigeria. They, the surgery, getting uh, surgical operations are cheaper. Today, you'll be glad to know that today we have almost 900 um, aesthetic um, uh, offices, hospitals all around Lagos, all around Nigeria. People are coming to get plastic surgery is that people in the private sector or the people in the private medical sector or people in the public sector people are coming even in the public sector go to look today a cancer center the national nsia look cancer center has the state of the heart equipment whatever you can get anywhere in the world they have linear accelerator they have everything there people are coming from sub-saharan africa to get cancer yeah, but that's in lagos what about the rest of the country and that's it we're moving all over the country. If you see, and it, 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 this is not limited Lagos alone. No. We're even going to the rural area. We've dedicate, we have dedicated funds. If you, if you hear about our swap program, we're aligning what we have in the, with our basic care, care provision fund, mm. which has more funding now. Hey! <laughs> the question is, Mr. Minister, Alausa, where is your president? Since he left Saudi Arabia, for that World Trade Conference or whatever. We are in Stinibu. We had his hibernating somewhere in France. Because as he the waka, you know, the leg where they waka crooked, the eyes where they see crooked, they see him. You guys lie to yourselves as if to say Nigerians are so dumb. Or perhaps you drank something or you took some kind of, you know, highness before coming to the media to spit out this gibberish. Can you imagine? In fact, it has come to the point, eh? Some of these media houses, you get some kind of people, eh? When they say some certain things, eh, you just off their mic and ask them to just go. Because it amounts to an insult. You should, you should just come out and start insulting Nigerian people intelligence. Although I knew you believe that every Nigerian is so stupid, for allowing charlatans and characters like you to be in power. Oh, yes. So I don't blame you. I blame the suffering Nigerian people. I blame the suffering Nigerian people, the victims of bad governance in this country. That are behaving as if to say everything is okay. Everybody's adjusting. Are we not going through hell in this country as we speak? What have the people done? Nothing. Everybody's adjusting to his own, in his own corner to survive. It is now the survival of the fittest. It is now the law of the jungle. Eat or get eaten. So nobody cares. Everybody to himself and God for all of us. While this man in power takes all of us for a ride. Nigerians. It's about time we make another thing say, hey, na me the ginger Nigerians. Or uh, to get Nigerians against their government. <laughs> it not be me you know, go hear that to mobilization. And I know go ever tell Nigerians who to vote. Let, if they like, let them go and rig election anywhere election is happening in Nigeria. Let them go and be tribalized during elections. Let them go and start showing up their religious sentiment and mumu. Now every one of us go suffer and whoever survive, make him leave. Those who no not survive. <laughs> it's up to you. So, when these guys shun these things, how do you react to it? Drop it on the comment section. We we'll continue exposing this government of never do wells until Nigerian people get their sense back. That is the commitment on this platform. I will continue preaching good governance to Nigerian people because that is the only salvation for the Nigerian people. Until characters you can trust are in power, there is nothing for you. What's your take on it? Drop it in the comment section and help me share this video so that all Nigerians will see the kind people where they have their power. Bye-bye for now.